Hey everyone, and on today's episode of Pinchao's Garage, we are doing some integrated engineering parts in the GLI, the one we just built the motor for. So let's get to work. So on these three components that we have here, we're going to explain which each each one of these does. The one on the left is the block off plate for the combi valve. So very, very simple, nice little billet piece with a O-ring already attached to it on the back. Two bolts. This is the crankcase breather. So this is the one that sits underneath your intake manifold and they provide a proper O-ring for it. And then this is the valve cover uh, breather valve or breather as well. Um, this one is the one that requires the most work to do because we have to yank out the old one and press this one in. Um, so let's get to work everyone um, and we'll show you what to do next. So we're going to do the block off plate first and this is the easiest one out of all of them to do. And this one sits on the side of your head right there. Now you'll see here's the water outlet on the left and then right to the right of it immediately is your um, exhaust port for the combi valve. Uh, there's two holes right here and then there's the big hole where the exhaust comes out. That's where these guys go into play. And here he is. Nice and installed. Um, pretty much did it by hand. We haven't tightened these down yet. Um, these are just go on pretty snug. There's no really torque spec for this one. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. It's a nice simple little part that does its job and it does it very, very well. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to go left underneath the intake manifold. And you'll see here, here's your oil cooler. And we're going to go up. And then here's your crankcase breather port. This is the next one that we have to do the install on. So here is the retaining clip. This is the one that you take out from the original um, crankcase breather hose. Make sure you uh, retain this because they, IE does not provide you with the new one. You have to keep this one to do the installation. So, we're gonna go down here, grab our two ports, I mean our, our breather valve, our, or part, and O-ring. Very, very important for this job. And we're gonna head on over. To here. Now what's super important is the, the billet piece goes in first so this guy goes in okay actually no I'm sorry that is wrong the o-ring goes on here first Just like that. No lubrication required. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to push that sucker down. It's got to go past, and you can see the o rings right there. It's got to go past that um, all the way down until the top portion is underneath this piece flush so that clip can go in and retain this piece for you. Now that we have it down, remember the orientation of your uh, breather billet part here. There's a two flat sides. Those flat sides have to be centered here. So the, the clip itself can actually go in just like that. So we're going to grab our clip. We're going to bring it back down. And this should be pretty snug. 
just like that. Okay, now that's the crankcase breather adapter all done. Now we're going to go to the valve cover. So on the valve cover, you have this, uh, depending on which valve cover you have, you might have one with just this, or if it's a later model, you're going to have the extra breather hose right here on top of that. Okay? So what I pre what I pre-soak it in WD or PB blaster right here in this seam. And we're gonna go grab some vice grips and we're gonna yank this sucker out. So you'll see my vice grips are right in here. And what I did is I clamped pushed in, clamped it on, and pushed down, up and down a little bit, and then there you go. That bad boy is out. Pretty easy. So what we're going to do next is clean that out a little bit and then install the new one. Now for the valve cover fitting, you're going to need a rubber mallet, a rag, and obviously your fitting itself. Keep in mind that the both fittings on here are A and 10. So the beauty about these, you can shop for any type of uh, A and 10 fittings here. So you can... Um, make your own custom catch can system or breather system super super cool that's why I love this, these products from Integrate Engineering so let's get our stuff here let's get a uh, walk on over here to the car again so now that we gave the uh, port itself a good cleaning we're gonna put this guy in here it's going to be a very tight fit guys so please be warned now with this being in here by hand as best I can you're going to cover this with the rag and you're going to smack it in with the hammer I'm going to try to do this without any hands I'll show you guys right after because uh, this is going to be the hard part. So now we've got our new AN fitting pressed in to our valve cover from Integrated Engineering. We got the AN fitting down here for the crankcase uh, breather. Same size, AN10, AN10. And then we installed our block off plate for the combi valve right here on the side of the head. Now that was super easy I kid you not you do the whole thing under 10 minutes just take your time um, but yeah thank you for tuning in for this uh, quick DIY from Pinchel's Garage uh, our next DIY will be actually wire tucking the left side of your uh, uh, engine bay when you're facing it this way so please stay tuned for so much more here at Pinchel's Garage peace out and have a wonderful day guys